Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name's Acacia. Today I want to start my video off by saying thank you to my Patreons, which are Zulfia Trotter and Amanda Center. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate it. I will link my Patreon in the description box below if anyone would like to join me. I am super excited to have it and I am very grateful to everybody who is contributing. So today is going to be my second part of my November wrap up. I am very grateful that I I got four books read the end of the month. I was having a lot of trouble and focus was not really my high high strong point if that makes sense. Um, so the fact that I got any books done is a miracle. So I'm going to talk about four books today. One I'm going to talk about in a separate review and I will mention it here. It was my favorite and also I received it for review so it's going to get a separate review. So let's dive in. These are in order of least to most enjoyed but all of them were above two stars. First we have Unbearable Lightness by Portia de Rossi. Um, this is a anorexia story and I enjoyed this, solidly enjoyed this. I felt that it was insightful and brave and very honest. And I felt like it was a good interpretation of what it must be like for an actress in Hollywood to function when they believe that they must live a certain lifestyle to keep themselves a certain size. I definitely would say this is a good book but it could be triggering to those of you who have or have suffered from eating disorders and it has a lot of um depictions of the mind spirals that come with anorexia. So just be aware of that if you're interested in this book. I would recommend it though. I did enjoy it and I think it was a good read to have. Then we have Carrie Fisher, Wishful Drinking. Um, again, another celebrity memoir. This is... <sighs> I liked this. I did. It it intro introduced me to a vision of Carrie that I hadn't had before. And I'm grateful for that. This kind of saw the spiraling and the out of control and the self destructive nature that she really had going for her. I've always looked up to Carrie Fisher as a model, as a role model. Um, and this didn't change that. It left me feeling a little sad though that she had to go through her life this way. Couldn't have been easy. And for her to also have bipolar disorder on top of that must have made everything that much harder. But um, I definitely enjoyed it. It was an easy read, super short, um, and I'm glad I have it, and I'm glad I read it. I don't know if I'll read the rest of Carrie Fisher's books, but I'm very happy to have this one. Next, we have Scribe. This is a novel by Allison Haig. Hagee. Um... I really enjoyed this book. It's apocalyptic. It has to do with the idea of literature in an apocalypse. It's based around the Civil War, which was interesting to invest in time period wise. I don't usually reach for Civil War books, but this one did just fine for me and I really enjoyed it. This one kind of slipped under the radar, which I I guess I understand because it is a quiet little novel and it doesn't really pack a huge punch and it's not really that much of a overwhelming plot. It's quieter 
um, but it's a good novel and I really appreciated it. I would highly recommend it and I definitely enjoyed it. And if you like apocalyptic fiction, this is good. Um, if you're not sure about apocalyptic fiction, this one may be where you start because it is quieter and it's not as intense, but it's also short. But I definitely would say there are other apocalyptic novels that I've read that I enjoyed more um, and that I would recommend higher. But this one was good and solid and I believe I gave it four stars. And then the final book I'm going to do a full in-depth review on in a day or so. This is The Collected Schizophrenias by Esme Wang Wang. Um, definitely loved it. Five stars. Absolutely adored it. It's a nonfiction about schizophrenia and the experience of schizophrenia. Also a little bit of a discussion about PTSD and Lyme disease. It was super interesting, super riveting, and I adored it. When I received this for review from Grey Wolf Press, I was ecstatic. So I would definitely recommend this and you'll hear about it in a couple of days. So those are all the books that I finished at the end of the month. Not a lot, but I did okay. I think I read about 18, 19 books this month, so so I'm not too disappointed in myself. I'm pretty happy, but those are all the books. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, click that subscribe button down below. I will talk to you in the comments, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.